Hey guys, welcome back to the channel, and today I'm going to take a little four foray into uh, succulents. Um, I really don't have any too much experience with succulents, so I, I I am a novice, but I do know certain things about some things about succulents, such such as the best containers for succulents is going to be terracotta glazed pots. I chose terracotta because it wicks away the water a lot faster and most of them do not like a, a whole lot of water. So really the only kind of succulents I really have ex some kind of experience with are, is, is the aloe vera. I got that because I work in healthcare as well as the snake plant right right there. And if, um, last week I got Oh, or the other day, I should say, I got this. Ichavira. And I think this is a variety of hens and chicks, but I'm not 100% sure. Correct me if I'm wrong. So I got this one because I kind of knocked, knocked it over and knocked a leaf off <coughs> of it. And today I got these, these two today. This is a elephant brush, or a, yeah, or elephant bush, and I have absolutely no no idea what this this particular succulent is. If you happen to know what this is, just be sure to let me know in the comments. Like I said, I I am a novice, so so in the soil I don't hurt, <coughs> and so from 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 what I've read is that. Regular potting soil is too compact for of um, suc succulents. I have regular potting soil, but I mixed regular soil, which I had had in the yard because it's really sand, and I mix in some per extra perlite and and the, and also some uh, some orchid bark bark in here to make get a little bit more uh, aerated for them. I this succulent here. As well as the, uh, as well as the, pra, pra, probably the hens and chicks, I know are, are root bound. I'm gonna see if I can pro propagate this. Leave that fell fell off because when I, I bump bumped into it and it fell off, and so I know that these guys need a little need to be transplanted. So when you guys try to try to loosen up soil and the and the plant is root bound, yes, you are going to have um, dam damage some roots, but it's not the uh, not the end of the world for them because the plant will bounce bounce back. Ah, looks like another leaf fell off. Put you over. Put you two in this pot up here. I know you. I know you're root bound. Heard that plastic can work, but it's not as good as the terracotta ones. Because it doesn't wick, wick away water quite as fast. And the general rule of thumb for getting pots for your plants when you're transplanting them, regardless what species it is, it's normally two, two to three inches bigger than what the plant was. Because if you get a pot that's too big, you have the ten. There's a chance that the plant could have root, could eventually have root rot. And I'm probably not gonna get a cactus because I know that. There's a reason why, because if this plane passes by, it's 
Now then, when I was a kid, um, I was given a cat cactus from my by by my tutor, and I wasn't and I wasn't actually aware the cactus was uh, already dead. And I threw it out in the yard, and my father step stepped on it. It was just me being being a kid, a typical kid, and just haphazardly throwing throwing a dead cat cactus in the yard. Of course, my father likes to walk around barefoot to this day. So do I, but... There's not going to be enough room for this one here, so I'm going to have to wait. Yeah, it's a tight fit for three succulents. But this is my first attempt ever, so go easy on me. If, if anyone's actually more experienced in, su in succulents than I am. But if you're gonna rant and rave about don't don't do this and don't don't do that and just about succulents. I get it because and I've seen people do all kinds of things with carnivorous plants on things places like a YouTube and I don't know why they're they're doing it. Oh yeah, this little piece here, I found it and it was just just a broke broken off piece. So I got it when I got my suck my new succulents today. So, brought 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 it home since I heard they're so easy to root that I try try to pro propagate this one. Looks like it's a very very variegated variety of this this one here, but I'm not a hundred percent sure. So, if anyone's a little bit more experienced, be sure to let let me know. Constructive criticism is is allowed, but just don't rant and rave. Okay, for these, I am going to lay these guys here. I try to pro propagate a, uh, some aloe vera leaves that a aloe vera leaf that came came off and it didn't quite go as planned. So. Soil's already wet, so I'm just gonna leave that open. Hopefully, the new, hopefully those will start start to take root in a few weeks. Okay, I'm gonna have to, I'm gonna water water you and put you up here for now since I do not have enough room in here. Okay, if any, okay, if you happen to like this video, give me a like, 